Hello to Wednesday's Daily Prayers. I hope this finds you all well. It's good to have you with us here on YouTube and welcome to those joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As we normally do, we'll give people a few more seconds to join us and give us time to settle ourselves as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together, God's love has flooded our hearts through the Holy Spirit he has given us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him. Sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. He is the Lord, our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. I'm now going to read the psalm for today, and it is Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me, and you know me. You know where I, when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You hem me in, behind and before. You have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to me. How precious, how precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you would slay the wicked, O oh God, away from me, you bloodthirsty men. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and abhor those who rise up against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. 
Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now I'm going to continue reading from Mark's Gospel. We're in chapter 10 from verse 26. The disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Peter said to him, We have left everything to follow you. I tell you the truth, Jesus replied. No one who has left home or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. Homes, brothers, sisters, mothers, children and fields and with them persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last first. Amen. That is the word of God. Now we turn to God in the time of prayer. We will use the first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence, where we can lift before God the prayers, the things and the people that are on our hearts and the things that God lays on our hearts. Let us pray together. God of peace and protection. We put our trust in you alone. At all times and in every circumstance, we want to follow the way of your son, who was moved to compassion as he looked upon the world around him. Therefore, we come before you now to ask for your help and your intervention. In your great mercy, hear our continuing prayers in the midst of the challenges of our day. We pray in silence.
Let us pray together. Help us, your people, O Lord, to act with faith and wisdom. May the peace of Christ that passes all understanding enable us to be peacemakers and bring peace to others. As Jesus served the most needy and most vulnerable, help us to serve those around us with love. When we have the opportunity to help, enable us to do it. When we need to make sacrifices, give us the courage to do so. When we ourselves are threatened, give us the grace to trust in you. I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. Amen. God, the wellspring of our life, pour into our hearts the living water of your grace, that, refreshed by you, we may live this day in steadfast reliance on your strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, and of Christ, who summons us to service, and of the Holy Spirit, who inspires generosity and love, be with us all. Amen. Thanks for being with us again today, folks. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.